One of my friends told me something yesterday. He said, the worst thing you can do as a believer is to judge a man based on what you are seeing on the pulpit. And the worst thing you can do as a leader is to get your people to follow you based on the man they see on the pulpit. Now, if you don't have people who stay with you, you won't understand this parable. How did you grow to this level? Um, I paid the price. Do you think if a spirit tells you to pay price, you can actually pay it? I paid the price of prayer. The true price that a spirit collects is blood, is life. They don't collect that. So now you say, okay, but I paid the price of fasting. How? is starving yourself affecting the spirit even if you starve yourself for 40 days now how does that affect the spirit because people do that and they approach fasting as though it's a token that they are using to pay in the spiritual world that makes them worthy of what is happening in them if god built it by grace don't tell people it's by works how i got here i don't know the same way god brought me here he can bring you there that's how you preach to people there were many things we did as young believers if you see my pictures of old there were many pain we went through. Fasted till I started coughing blood. But I know that that's not the secret of power. That's not the secret of power. That's not the secret of power. He told me one day, he said, people say they are, come, they are going to seek me. He told me that he cannot be found if he doesn't want to be found. The highest your seeking God can do for you is to bring you to the place of waiting, the waiting area. And the moment you come there, he has started looking at you. Only to be found when he wants to be found. Can your fasting force God to appear here? You just continue doing good, having the faith that the one who judges the heart of all men is seeing what you are doing. And also how weak man is. The one who, who prays and the miracles happen. Does he know how that miracle happened? It's all by faith. But see, we live in a generation that claims to be under the grace of God, but they are pro work. This anointing I have now, it will take you five years to touch it. What anointing do you have? Do you know what the anointing is? There are some things if I preach to my generation now. Oh God, when you see light, and you look back to this world, you will not be able to see the darkness. You will call this room lit until you go out and look at the sun. Then when you see the sun and you come back here, you will now discover that this room has been dark all this while. So what price can we truly pay? If we talk about paying the price for power, every spirit demands blood as price, including God. Go read the Old Testament. Why are you saying spirits demand blood? What do you mean? And yet you say by the blood of Jesus. 